Executive Director of Vista Grand Villa, Chelsea Isley. Hi, Chelsea. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, thanks for having us back. Yeah, welcome back, nice to see you. And uh, it's a long anticipated uh, welcome back because you, after uh, how long has it been? Many years, <laughs> many months, mm -hmm. have completely uh, redecorated and uh, renovated Vista Grand Villa. We have, yeah. So we have been under construction for what feels like years. <laughs> um, it's only been about a year, thankfully, but um, we have touched every area of the campus. We've just completed a $5.2 million renovation on the campus. Wow. And so we are so excited to open the doors. Spring is coming, so open the <laughs> windows and, uh, and show the, the community uh, what we've done. So it's called the Grand Reveal, and it happens on Monday, April 22nd. And the Chamber will have their ribbon cutting tomorrow. A little sneak peek for the Chamber and the Chamber members tomorrow. So, um, so that's exciting, yeah. Yeah, it's amazing when you mention the dollar amount of the investment. Um, it's, it's hard to believe, but really not because the amount of uh, space and uh, square footage that you have, yeah. it's pretty extensive. Uh, if I had a, a penny or a nickel <laughs> for every time somebody said, I had no idea this place was this big, we probably could have paid for a lot of the renovation. <laughs> um, we hear it all the time. We have, so we have 22 acres of campus. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, that includes you know, the 32 condos out back and you know, 100 and 79 apartments and um, you know our a whole assisted living and memory care and skilled you know skilled nursing and so we have a ton of, of space there and I'm so excited to say we've touched all those spaces with the renovation and um, you know kind of brought it up into into uh, you know the next 50 years so we've we've dusted everything off and, and made it so that it's just a bright and vibrant and exciting place um, for people of all ages so that was one of our you know, real commitments to is making sure that we created a space not only for our residents, but for their families, the, you know, the little ones and, you know, making sure that we've got, you know, little things like changing tables in the bathrooms and we've got high chairs and things in our restaurants. And, you know, we want to make it a place that everyone comes to spend time. And um, so it's, it's been exciting and fun. And we are just really, really thrilled to bring this to the community um, because, you know, we are, um, we're Jackson people, and we just love making it a place that that our community can can thrive. So, well, it's 50 years that mm -hmm. the Vista Grand Villa has been there, but it, it looks great and really, uh, it looks fine. It looks fine before the uh, the upgrade. So yeah. that is great that you are making that investment because yeah. you never walked in and thought, wow, this could use. Uh, a you know, an update. <laughs> it, it always, I mean, it's you know, always been nice. It, it didn't. You know, we had, uh, we're there every day, right? Those of us that, that live and work there, we're there every day. So we saw a little bit of, you know, wearing here and there mm -hmm. of, you know, places that, that we could do better. And, um, but, you know, our, our residents and their families that are, that are, we're talking to are expecting something more. They're expecting that it, that it's a place that they can come and, um, and have you know uh, entertainment we've just done a, a big investment actually through our um, philanthropy program our um, all the lighting and sound system in our in our auditorium has all been redone because we want to make sure that places like you know dan bickle who just said he you know is performing at vista um, you know that they've got great uh, facilities to use when they come and and we have you know we also open that up to the community to use those spaces as well to you know bring the community in mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, we've got three restaurants there that, um, you know, our, our residents and their families and friends all come to. And so we want to make sure that all of those spaces are, um, are just welcoming and, and top quality. So we've, we've done all that. Well, you have, uh, I'm pretty sure, dozens of um, sidewalk superintendents living at Vista Grand Villa. <laughs> and I witnessed some of their... Uh, work as they were inspecting painting and carpet laying and correct it's it's, it's like uh they're, they're proud it's their home and they feel like it's they feel ownership in it they do um and they and they say this is my home it's not a place it's not 
you know, some people will come in and say, you know, we want this to look like a really fancy hotel, or and I'm and I immediately say, no, 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 this is their home. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we actually put up a digital sign one time, um, and one of my beloved residents said. He, you know, sometimes our residents struggle a bit with technology in terms of coming, you know, getting, getting, uh, um, you know, embracing all of the new, the new technology that's out there. And so we had a digital sign up that I was really excited about because it has, you know, all the activities and wellness opportunities and, you know, fun stuff going on. And he said, you put a TV in my foyer. And it was in a common space. <laughs> it was in a common space and I thought it was great. And, you know, so they, they teach me lessons every day. Um, but yeah, they absolutely treat it like that's their home and they're really, really proud to show it off and to, you know, bring people to the community. And so they certainly, um, remind me when, uh, when we, when we trip up <laughs> or when there's a, a nick on the wall or, you know, something like that. So they're, they're great. It's been a lot of fun. Well, and for those families, they want to, uh, showcase their home, but they also want to make, uh, make it inviting so their grandkids and their kids want to come and hang out there. Yeah, we have, um, we, in the past year, we put in a theater. Um, so we have uh, a great theater space that has, you know, and we try and make spaces really, really intentional. So all of the, the um, chairs that we put in there are power recliners. And uh. so it actually, you know, you can not only lay back and really enjoy it, um, but it also is a power lift chair too. So it, it, you know, it helps residents that perhaps would have you know, struggled to use that space in the past, now have the ability to, to use that space. So all of the, you know, everywhere that we've touched, we've tried to be really intentional about it and make sure that it's inclusive for everyone. And, um, you know, uh, everything is ADA accessible and, and whatnot. So it's, it's been good. And I think that we've put a lot of, of thought and heart into everything that's been done there to make sure that people can enjoy it. So the residents, they've had a chance over the last year to uh, experience it as it's as it's uh, been underway now, now that it's complete, what's been the, the response? What do you hear from your residents? So they haven't seen the Rose Room yet, which is the final okay. reveal. So they um, actually just this week got to come into the lobby. The lobby is open again, which thank goodness, because we, it's, we've been you know, managing out through the, the back of the campus. But you know, so all the fencing is down and the lobby is open. Um, and so we, um, they're able to use that space now, which is really nice. And then the Magnolia Room, one of the restaurants we did, um, we reopened that last fall. And so they've been able to use that space while we took the, the third restaurant offline to completely renovate that. So they've got one more space that they haven't seen yet, which is the Rose wow. Room. Um, and that's where we do all of our fine dining, you know, steak, seafood, um, you know, more um, uh, upscale dining. And, um, but so far the, it's, the reaction from them has been everything we hoped for. You know, they've, they've been really excited about it and they keep telling us how beautiful it is. And um, so it's, it's been very well received. So we've, we're uh, even more excited to, to continue to show it off to the community. Nice. Well, I had steak and lobster uh, last time I was uh, dining there because it was, I think it was the 50th. Uh, yeah. was it? Probably. The Probably that. Thing. Yeah. But so I, I know that you have a great culinary team and the food's, Awesome. We do. And that's going to be, for a lot of people in, in choosing, you know, where they're going to live. If there's, if food is part of it, that's got to be a, a pretty major uh, consideration. Uh, it is. I mean, the residents that, um, that live there are very vocal about food and it's something <laughs> that, you know, they really enjoy being a part of. And so we do farm to table dinners and, um, you know, different wine tasting events and, and all sorts of things. And we have this amazing executive chef, Demila, who um, just whips things up and um, just is extremely talented. And so she has a wonderful team that works with her and, um, and we love showing off, you know, culinary at, at Vista. So. Well, JTV will be uh, taking you behind the scenes of the grand reveal in the uh, days ahead, but you're invited to see it in person on Monday, April 22nd mm -hmm. from four to six. Uh, and they would like to hear from you so, you can, uh, so they can be uh, prepared for, uh, to welcome you. So visit vistagrandvilla.com dash reveal and uh, RSVP or uh, send a note to info at vgvilla.com or you scan this QR code. Or at the end of the day, just come. Or we just, just come. Yeah, you know, we'd yeah. love to hear from you, but just come. Sounds so, good. Great.
Well, congratulations. Thank you so much. We're yeah. really excited. I can't wait for you to see it. I can't wait to see it too. Yeah. Uh, Executive Director of Vistagran Villa, Chelsea Isley. We've got a few things happening.